property viewers, welcome to another property tour. My name is Lysandra Russell. I'm with Colville Banker Aventura in sunny South Florida. We are in Mandeville, Jamaica, and we're here viewing a four bedroom, four bathroom estate sitting on 2.5 acres of land. This property is offered at 3.5 million US dollars. I'm also here from Coldwell Banker, Jamaica. My name is Beverly Palmer, but before we go any further, let's just thank Ida and Neville of Property Viewers for coming along today to showcase this amazing estate. Let's get right into it. As we come into the property at 15 Grove Road, we come up this amazing driveway. There are two entrances and you can also see the pedestrian entrance. When you walk in and you see the paved driveway, you just know that the owners have paid particular attention to every detail. Look at the flowers, look at the colours. I've renamed this area to my left, Orchid Path. We've got every single color orchid you can think of. Every single flower you can think of. We have the Jamaica ginger lily. We have anthuriums. You'll see them as we go through the home. Um, and there are some other ones that you could probably identify for me, but it just adds to the fauna of the beauty of the yeah. house. On this level, we have the two-car garage. To the right of the garage is a gym, and to the left of the garage is a one-bedroom apartment. If we look up at the amazing columns that form the facade of this house, it just speaks opulence. The windows, every window, when they're opened, you feel that mandible breeze, and also of note, every window has a mesh covering for all those who are a bit timid of insects and then to the left here you can be taken to the entertainment area without having to go through the home so we're going to make our way inside now and um, give you an absolutely amazing treat So Alessandra, where are we going to start this tour of this amazing home? Well, we are in the front veranda of the home, one of two mm -hmm. verandas in this property. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I absolutely love about the veranda are these columns. Yes. It gives it a really nice palatial feel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I love how it dovetails with all of the appointments on the exterior. You have this lovely wood paneling that they have. This is real wood. These people love real wood. And they have this lovely wood paneling in the ceiling. Whilst this is so amazing, what I also find amazing is that view. 
we're yeah. looking at the hills of Mandeville. Cool, cool Mandeville. I mean, it's just a pity that everybody watching couldn't feel the breeze that we're feeling right now. Oh, that this breeze. Is, this is just so amazing. This is Jamaica. Yeah. But, you know, um, let's not delay anymore. Let's take right. a look on the inside. Right. And then when we go on the back veranda, we can enjoy that. 365 24 7 breeze that we are feeling right now right you ready Good. let's go all right welcome to fieldstone Oh my goodness, that lovely breeze. Wow, okay. We are in the grand foyer. We are walking on travertine marble that is throughout the downstairs area of the property. And some of the really lovely appointments in here, mahogany wood on every egress and ingress of the property, on the staircase leading up to the stairs. Before we go there, I have something special for you. We have a powder room downstairs, right? So you don't have to go upstairs. And we are walking into the formal living space. Although the living space is formal, it has such a cozy, cozy feel. Warm tones of creams and tans adorn this entire space. One of the most wonderful things about it is that special breeze that I was talking about that special breeze is all over this space because you have windows and French doors that are cross-secting and give you a nice breeze coming through the space. Another thing about the space is although, like I said, it has a formal feel with the coffered ceilings and the appointments as far as the lighting is concerned, it's not so, so big that it's uncomfortable. And so this, this space also gives you a beautiful, magnificent view of Mandeville. Come and see. Oh my goodness. This balcony gives you that excessive, beautiful breeze that you feel in this space. Once again, another opportunity for an opulent view of Mandeville. And when, once again, I think I'm gonna say it like a hundred times. The breeze, the feel, it's all there in this lovely space. I'm just taking it all in. Just taking it all in. Now we go back inside. Fieldstone is split into two sections of the property. I showed you some of the more formal spaces. Now I'm going to bounce it over to Beverly so she can show you some of the less formal spaces. And where is the best place to start but the bar? This amazing space is well appointed with your chill cabinet, your wet bar and lots of storage space. And you can step straight from the bar into the formal dining area. It's currently set up for an eight seat dining table, but obviously you can extend or retract as you want to. There are some amazing features. We have the tray ceilings, we have the recessed lighting. It's very well thought out. It's a very well thought out space. And then from here now, we take a turn to the butler's pantry that takes us straight into the kitchen. So you will see this amazing chef's kitchen 
also very well appointed. The flowers, the ginger lilies and thuriums are from the garden. But one of my main interests as we walk around are the fruits that we actually managed to get from the garden. Um, can anyone tell me what these are? Everything is from the owner's garden. So let's walk around to the room next to this amazing kitchen, which can be called the den. It can be called the playroom. It's actually whatever you want it to be, but it walks straight out into the entertainment area. And the entertainment area, of course, has a pool, it has a barbecue area, it has a jerk pit. And every mansion needs an absolutely fabulous outside entertainment space. But look who I found! Hello, my dear! Sandra, how are you enjoying cool Mandeville? I love it. I love it. It's beautiful. The breeze mixed with this, the hot, nice sun. I love it. I and love it. And the entertainment area by the pool. Oh, listen, do you hear, do you hear that? Besides the birds chirping, right? Beautiful. Do you hear the fountain? Do you hear the pool, the pool Beautiful. area going? Beautiful. I love it. So we're just going to take, if you don't mind. Absolutely. We're just going to take a quick walk around or a walk around the rest of this space that is so well appointed. We have an outside kitchen that's absolutely well kitted out. And then just beyond the kitchen, you can see one of the two greenhouses where we've been able to obtain the beautiful flowers. And you might just be able to see through this a couple of jerk pits. And look at these orchids again in their natural environment. We're looking at one of two koi ponds here. And next to the koi pond is the bar. So you also have this amazing outside bar which is absolutely well kitted out for your entertainment purposes. As we said before, this house does have a 360 degree view of Mandeville, so you can continue to admire the view as you walk outside here. So we're going to go back inside and have a look upstairs and see what those bedrooms are looking like. Lissandra, guess what? It's time to go upstairs. Excellent. Okay, so are you going to take the stairs? And you take the elevator? I am taking. I'll race you. Meet you up there. <laughs> Part is that we have stairs and an elevator. Absolutely. Right? Excellent, absolutely. excellent. So we're in the upstairs portion of the foyer with this beautiful chandelier that has the ability to move up and down for easy cleaning. And one of the other things that is lovely about this space is the mixture of the mahogany wood staircase along with the white as well and you have that theme once again of creams and whites and tans. Those tones allow for a beautiful palatial feel in this space, right Bev? Absolutely, and just look at how the windows have been treated. Nothing too overbearing. It still allows the air to come in. We have, as I mentioned before, the netting on all of the windows to keep out the mosquitoes. And then you have that lovely area just across here that's your picture gallery. And did we forget impact windows? Impact windows, yes. Impact we did windows, yes. right? Very, very important here mm -hmm. in Jamaica. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, who's going to take what? 
Well, I'm going to go to my left and go to the primary suite. Before we head into the primary suite, I want to point something out that's really delightful. This flooring here, this is oak flooring, but it's the design for me. This herringbone design is all through the upstairs portion of the foyer area. It gives a nice separation of the middle section of the house from the left and right section of the house. Now we're in the primary suite. This is a sweet treat. In the primary suite, we have that same theme as we've been discussing about creams and tans and, and, and these light white tones, right? In the ceiling, you have the same oak wood, but you have it in a pickled format, pickled oak. It gives a bright feel to the home, specifically this, this, this specific space. It gives a bright feel with the tray ceilings and the double crown molding. It gives a wonderful feel to it. Nice, big, and palatial. The other piece about this primary suite is that it has two living spaces inside the primary suite. And if you want to, if you need to, you also have a dining space in the primary suite next to one of the windows, which is lovely. Another theme that you see throughout this space, like we're seeing in all the other spaces, are the windows with that delicious island breeze coming through and filling this entire space. No need for AC, no need for AC. That 365, 24-7 breeze is right up here in this primary suite. We have this similar oak wood floor, but this is more of a glazed oak wood. Loads of appointments with the white casing around the doors. And remember what we discussed before, we had the mahogany in some of the other spaces. So this gives a lighter feel with the white casing around the, uh, around the doors. As we walk into the ensuite bathroom in the primary, we have a nice little split here where we have a jetted tub, stand up shower with the shower system to make you feel like you are in resort style living in this space. And then in the master um, primary suite bathroom, we have two double sinks across from one another. We have a beautiful uh, countertop here, the, the marble countertop and marble floors as well. And we have that whitewashed um, cabinet that we have in this bathroom as well. Each bathroom has its own sweet flavor as you're gonna see in the junior suites. And you have the water closet where we have the commode area. And through these doors here, you have the primary suite closet. Wonderful storage with cabinets, countertops, and closet systems. As we walk back out, you have to remember this is four bedrooms, four full bathrooms that are en suite. Now I'm gonna turn it over to Beverly where she's going to show you the three other junior primary suites. You're gonna love it. Hey Bev. I'm here. Are you in your favorite room? Not quite, not quite, not oh, quite. Oh, okay. So but you're in your just, second favorite room. My second favorite room. Please join me, everyone. This is our junior premiere suite. Take a look at the space. And again at the ceiling. And we have our en suite. So if we take a look at the second one now, you'll see the difference, there's a different feel 
and you can see why this one is my favourite. So this is our second Julia suite with this amazing alcove. So the alcove with the two easy chairs, the nice cool breeze, the gentle humming of the fan, just to show everyone that everything in here works, but the gentle humming of the fan. Once again, we have the amazing views from all the windows. So you have the vegetation to your left and then to your right, you have the mountain view. And this is my favorite of the three rooms on this level. It also has its ensuite that has a tub, a soaker tub, as well as the shower. So the final one now of the three jewels is right at the very end of the property and you can understand why we really are inclined to give this one as well the title Premier. You cannot find a better space outside of the Premier Suite that Lissandra just showed you. You have your writing area, you have your lounge area, you have your bed area, and then you have an alternative seating area. And this room gives you a panoramic view of the entertainment area as well. We also have our ensuite with a little alcove here tucked away is the refrigerator. but a very nice, very well appointed bathroom with an enclosed shower store. So we're heading back downstairs now where we will meet Lysandra. Sandra, I thought you were meeting me on the front veranda. No, my dear. No, no, no. I'm here on the back veranda and I oh, am wow. enjoying Look this lovely view. Oh. There are two greenhouses on this property, remember? Okay. So all the flowers that we're seeing mm -hmm. um, are grown and loved and all of that in those greenhouses. So okay. I'm just enjoying all the beauty of what we have seen today. So we're looking on the left hand side, I think we're looking at the boundary of the property on this side um, and it's quite elevated from the road below as well yeah. and you can see how well kept that boundary line is and it's still very private, very private. Yeah. And we hadn't mentioned before mm -hmm. we have three staff quarters all having um, bathrooms, they're all en suite. Um, and there is one that has an entry from the interior of the property. And then the other two have entry points from the exterior of the property. Right. And what about the gym? Oh, gym, you can get your workout oh, on. Can we forget the Can't gym? Can't forget the gym. There's a gym as well. Yes. Anything else we forgot? Well, you know what, let's sit let's down and have a chat because there's so many things about this property mm -hmm. that we weren't able to really discuss while we were walking around showing all the beauty. Okay. Wow, that was an amazing tour. What do you think? Absolutely, lovely, lovely. There are so many uses for the property. Do you know, I think so, I think so. I mean, you look at it and you think, absolutely amazing for a residential property, but then there's a different side to that as well, in terms of usage. 
Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I love the idea of an Airbnb. Right. I love the idea of a bed and breakfast. Mm -hmm. This could be turned into a commercial property, mm -hmm. right? I'm thinking a spa. Oh. I'm thinking oh. a spa. I'm seeing people coming here. Mandeville is the middle of Jamaica. We're two hours from Kingston, hour and a half from Ocherias, mm -hmm. two and a half hours from Montego Bay. Mm -hmm. So this could be your spa. You have your chauffeur. You have your, your chef on spot. Right. I mean, it could really be anything you want it to be. Yeah. Even an embassy. Even oh. an embassy, Even yes. An embassy. And what about a film location? Oh my goodness, there's so many things the that we can do. The possibilities are endless. Endless. And speaking of endless possibilities, we are global. Right. We are global. You are in Florida. Right. I'm here in Jamaica. Yeah. And we can make it work for anyone around the world. Absolutely. Anyone that's interested, mm -hmm. we can make it work. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? I think we have four bedrooms, four bathrooms mm -hmm. in this absolutely palatial estate. Mm -hmm. I think we have 2.5 acres right. of plush manicured yard space. Right. I think that we are offering at 3.5 million US dollars mm -hmm. and I think it's going to go fast. I think so too. Yeah. I hope so. Mm -hmm. So what else is there left to say? Thank you property viewers. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Please remember to like and share and we will answer all your questions and we'd love you to subscribe to the channel as well mm -hmm. so beverly palmer cold war banker jamaica and don't forget to make your comments we want to hear what you have to say yes right lissandra russell from caldwell banker aventura sunny south florida thank you so much for your time and attention mm -hmm.